and I am done! Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I fell on my keys. Big Ass Dolphin, the video game is done. Another successful all-nighter. Dave, why are you naked? Uh, I get hot when I'm programming, and as you know, my balls need to breathe if I am to do my best work. Get your stupid ass off my chair! How long was I out for? Well, about two hours after you finished your game Floating Space Rocks, you took a celebratory hit from the Dagobong and passed out. Must have been that new weed I developed. One more question. Why is my penis green? Well, I can explain that, too, because around 2 a.m., high out of your mind, Dave, you painted it so it would look like, and I quote, a sexual serpent capable of spitting its venom everywhere. Damn it, I knew I was a genius. Okay, man. It's about 9 a.m. Let's just head home. Um, disgusting boys? Mr. Laherty would like to see both of you? <sighs> Great. Well, where the hell are my pants? Screw it. Dave, why aren't you wearing any pants? Ugh, it's a long story, man. And I'm really high right now, so let's just focus on why we're all here. Fair enough. Anyway, today is a day when pigs not only have flown, but they've also fixed my car and made me breakfast using the meat from their own bodies. And not only has hell frozen over, but it's also become my new venue for Smurfs on Ice. Y'all get me? For Game of Vision, we'll finally be the best game company in the world. And more importantly, we gonna stick it for them some bitches over at Bolico Vision. Man, I have a guest here who's gonna take us all the way to fourth base. What do you think this is gonna be about? He's probably some lame-ass motivational speaker that's gonna rip up phone books or something stupid like that. Dave, why is your penis green? And why, pretty lady, are you looking at me penis? Because you have no pants on, and it's green. Oh. Gentlemen, our special guest, a Mr. Steven Spielberg. Spielberg? Uh, hey, everybody. Holy crap. Whoa. Totally cool. I'm gonna try and do it with the director. Who the f is Steven Spielberg? Oh my god. Whoa, dude, did you pee yourself? Dave, he is my idol. You know that. That still doesn't explain the puddle of pee on the floor. Spielberg, my anus. He's the poor man's Lucas, if you ask me. Now listen up! Steven Spielberg here's got a new movie coming out called It. Actually, it's, um, E.T. One meeting at a time here, son, now shut your gosh darn yapper. Now I just bought the rights to this video game from him for 20 million dollars. You said 30. I said 20, you some bitch. Caught him, Dad. No, Dean, we are gentlemen. And we will settle it like gentlemen with a little wrestling. What? Come over here, you little pole cat! Get y'all! Get him down! Get him down! Now! Oh, okay! 20! Crazy ass son of a bitch! That's just one catch. Game has to be done in the next 24 hours. So we're pulling in all nighter, folks! And by we, I of course mean you, and by you, I of course mean Dave and Jerry. Oh, f Really? I've been working half the night! Hey, thanks a lot, Spielberg. Sorry, pal. Whatever. What a dick. Now, I have got one pass to a super-secret screening for our lead program. I am flattered, Mr. Larity, and I assure you, I will give the film my full attention. Not you! Why the hell would I give it to a gay viking? And now, I'm thinking of a number from one to ten. The person who guesses it gets a ticket. Uh, six. No. Eight. No. Come on! Sixteen. No. Uh, no. Who the f is Steven Spielberg? Negativo. Alligator. They've got it. Now the rest of you get back to work. Ahem, ahoy there. Hey ho, um. Yes? Did you, uh, have a chance to look at the game pitch I sent you? Uh, refresh my memory. The game. Based upon that wonderful book I happened upon called The Color Purple, it's a compelling tale of a young African American woman who faces various adversities. Why don't you leave the thinking to the professionals, son? Can't make crapola out of turd polish now, can you? Dave, how the hell did you know that Larity was thinking about an alligator? He is always thinking about alligators. Make a game for my idol. In one night, how the hell am I going to do this? See ya, I'll be back in a few hours to brief you on all the awesomeness I saw. And all the awesomeness you did not see. Dave, I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to stay focused here. You know I'm no good at all-nighters, and we're going to have to pull two in a row. What am I going to do, man? I can't fail Steven Spielberg. Hey, Benny, get in here. No, 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 no. <laughs> You are a creepy little bastard. You know that, right? What you want, smart guy? Benny got a lot of stuff to do. Have to look at your crappy video games all day. My man Jerry here needs a little bit of a hookup to get him through the night. Whoa. 
Is there any Big Ben? Give him a little candy, hmm? I can't do sugar or caffeine. Dave, I haven't had any of those things in like 10 years. Jerry, just once is not going to hurt you. Right, Benny? Make her go all night like a stallion. But it's going to cost. Nothing free in America, G.I. Joe. Calm down. Just put it on my tab, all right? Whatever he needs, man. Joint account means compound interest. 18%. Fine. And by the way, Jerry, you owe me. Hey, round eye. Get ready to suck from the caffeine tip. Coming through, everybody. Coming through. Can an actual ticket holder get through, please? Get through this line of, whoa. Black Spock, check. Darth Vader, check. White Mr. T, fantastic. Grimace, I don't know why you're here. Wow, Wookiee in a wheelchair, check. Congratulations, everybody. This is a regular carnival of shame. The dark side commands you to relinquish your ticket to me. You've grown powerful, young Skywalker. Ow, cut it out, you jerk. What are you staring at? Just wondering how it feels to be an a-hole. I don't know. Just like I don't know how it feels not to have a ticket to the movie. But I know someone who does. Sucker! Uh, excuse me, can a, can a real ticket holder come in, please? I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting harassed out here. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Whoa, whoa. You're kidding me, right? 30. All right, we'll do this dance. But you have to do something for me. Kid, what's your name? My name's Minot. Yeah, it's too long. I'm gonna call you M. Yeah, that wasn't as entertaining as I thought it would be. Hmm. What else can I have you do? Look, I ran around in circles yelling, I'm cuckoo for dudes, I went to the bathroom in my pants, and I did 100 push-ups. Twice. Can I please have the ticket now? Just one more thing. Tell me if this is a good idea for a movie. A guy gets killed and doesn't know he's a ghost until the very end. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, now, you know what? Screw it. Give me 30 bucks and you can have the ticket. Booby land, here I come. E.T., I love you. I love you, too. I love you, whores! And I love you, sluts! What the f*** are you doing? Holy crap, how many of those pixie sticks have you had? That's not your concern, my friend. Your concern is arming me with enough knowledge about E.T. so I can create the world's greatest video game with extreme prejudice. What? Your hands are bleeding, dude! You will take me to the conference room right now and you will tell me about E.T. Um, right. So, E.T. is about this awesome alien who comes to Earth, and that's pretty much it. Let's go, people! Okay, what's the kid's name? I need a name. I need a name. I need the kid's name. Uh, um, I'm Herman. Yeah, Herman. Now, are there any snakes in this movie? Yes! In one scene, E.T. fights a snake to save the Jews. So what does E.T. do on Earth? Um, well, I mean, he fights kids with a lightsaber, so that's good. Why? Um, because he's searching for the lost Ark of the Covenant, and he has to melt a Nazi face off. That's that's how it works. Does he find the Ark of the Covenant? No. Instead, he dresses up like a woman so he can get an acting role on a soap opera. Wait, who the f*** is E.T.? Then he has to fight the Russians because they won't let Herman dance in the town where he lives because Russians hate dancing. That doesn't make any sense. And why do you smell like whores? It takes one to know one, bitch. Jerry? Yeah. Ah! All right, everyone. You heard the man. Alien goes shopping. Ark of the Covenant. Dress like a woman. Let's let's rock and roll. Lock and load. Machine guns. Yes. Okay. Good. Loves yes. Okay. M&Ms. A little more. Yes. Okay. Hot Nazis. Yes. Okay. Good. Now where do they go? All right. Give me more. He's from Tantui. Hates kids. Hates him. Um. What else? No, he can't fly. Here. Howdy, boy. Hey, you about done with that game yet? We're almost done, Mr. Larity, but we just need to add music. I'm so tired. I figured as much. That's why I want you to meet a friend of mine. Boys, I kneel down. Neil, get in here! Holy crap! Dave, did you just do that because Neil Diamond's your idol? No, dude, I'm still incredibly drunk. Neil just sold me the rights to one of his crappy new songs for $20,000. You told Neil Diamond 30, Mr. Larry Day. I said 20, you son of a bitch. Let's wrestle! Gosh darn it, Neil Diamond! You have bested me. 30 it is. You mess with Diamond, you gonna get cut. Here's your tape, gentlemen. I'll see you later. E.T., Lizard, Creature, and me. Perfect! You boys stick that in the game somewhere! Dude, we actually did it! Dude, I know! This is gonna be the greatest game of all time! Upon 
my interstellar Lloyd spilled juice. Oh my god! It's not a problem. No problem? This game is horrible! Look at Benny! That man! Very bad man! You terrible! Dude, we just gotta make some tweaks. Yay! Congratulations, you guys! The truck just left. The game will be in stores within an hour! Yay! Ooh, is that a joke version? We are so Guys, I just got back from the first screening of E.T. You guys have to see it. I'm not one for emotion or anything, but that little alien changed the way I look at- <laughs> What is that, turd? That is Dave and Jerry's E.T. game. You! How could you? You don't know anything about E.T. You don't love E.T. You didn't even see the movie, did you? Okay, no. No, I didn't. And I know that you're all mad at me because I screwed up the game, but you know what I did do? I went to a strip club. Do any of you know what that means? That means that I saw naked women, and they shook their asses this close to my face for money. Sure, I could have gone to that movie, but then I wouldn't have seen all those naked women at the strip club with the boobs in my face. Now ask yourselves, can you blame me? And isn't that what you would have wanted me to do? Yeah, we've got to stop that truck before it drops all those games off. We'll take my car. Dave, you don't have a car. You sold it to pay for that 20-foot blow-up doll. By Janta? She was awesome. Dave! I got it, man. We'll steal Larity's car. How could they? You really loved that alien, didn't you, pal? Like a brother, bro. Can I share something with you? I also love alien life forms. You do? Quickly, man. Come with me. I have something you must see. Yo, Todd, this van smells like crotch, bro. <laughs> We got him! We got him, Dave! We got him! Pull over! Ah! Oh crap! What do we do? No problem. What do you mean? The cops are Did on you forget us! Forget whose car we're driving? Sweet ass! Dave, stop the car! I think a lot of those people might be dead! <laughs> I got you now, you bastard! Ah! What the hell are you doing? We'll see who wins this little game of chicken. He goes by the name of me. <laughs> As I thought. I pissed myself again. Ditto, me amigo. Sorry, man, but we're gonna have to take your rig. Say what? Don't make this ugly. Just hand over the keys. As you can see, you're outnumbered by a factor of two. Ah! Damn it! Ah! Ah! Now's our chance, man. On the count of three. One, two, three. Look, he took the keys, and all my bones are broken. We don't need the keys. Oh, we just need to unhitch the trailer. Neil Diamond's Little E.T. Neil Diamond's Little E.T. E.T. Well, if it isn't the team who brought us the Ishtar of video games. <laughs> That's funny, because Ishtar was a big failure. Not to worry, ladies. We stole the truckload of games. All hundred thousand of them. High fives all around, and then Mary and uh, Claire, I'm going to need a BJ from the both of you. Truckload? One hundred thousand? That was just the first batch, you jackholes! We shipped over four million of those things. It's the biggest video game shipment in history. Maybe the kids won't notice that it sucks. I mean, they're just kids, right? Let's take a ride in the This you sucks! Avoid spilled juice. Avoid spilled All juice. Over the universe, uh, this game is bar. giving me more cancer. Upon my interstellar E.T. They should have called this game V.D. Oh, this is just great. All I wanted was for this game to be good. God, that's all I asked for. You made my parents get divorced, and you killed my baby sister, and all I asked you was for this game to kick ass. That's a lot. No, E.T., the game is terrible! Hmm, I guess they noticed that it sucked. Oh, crap. What do we do now? Get everybody inside now! Hey, can you activate the emergency security lockdown? Only the supervisor can do that. Dean? Oh man, where's that douchebag when you need him? The signs are all around us. Signs that only I, a genius, can see. But signs nonetheless. 
That ship passed right outside my window. I knew then that they wanted to study my superior brain and enormous genitals. Look here. Crop circles on my lawn. Actually, I think Dave did that. Mm, I doubt he'd have the technological prowess to accomplish something of this magnitude, but I think you see my point. I've spent the majority of my adult life reaching out to them, knowing that they'll contact me someday. Why do you think every time my pager rings, my nipples start lactating? Gross. Do you understand now why I've brought you here today, Dean? You're gonna kill me, right? No! We're waiting for the ship! I do this all the time. They clearly want to mate with me to produce a superior race of human-alien hybrids. Okay, this has been really cool and everything, but... Dean, they must be close. Holy crap! What's up? There they are! They... Mr. Larity, we gotta get you out of here. Why is that, boys? There's an angry mob outside, and they're calling for blood. I can see that, Jerry, but I don't think it's our blood they're calling for. They're heading for ColecoVision? I don't get it. I take it you boys didn't actually bother to look at any of those games you hijacked. Well, that's right, boys. I switched the sticker. I never thought I'd say this, dude, but you are a genius. Boys, I don't have to be a pig farmer to know a cow turd when I see it. The second I saw that so-called uh, game, I knew what I had to do. Mr. Larity, first of all, allow me to apologize. There's no apology for stupid, boy. Ask my son, Dean. You boys hijacked a truck today, and you stole my car. I know, you're probably pissed at Jerry. Pissed? You boys took my car! I'd be less pissed if you fed me my own ass on a ciabatta! Anyhow, all's well that ends well. Now, you two go make me some more money. And if you see that good-for-nothing son of mine, tell him we're late to visit his brother in jail. Wait, what? what? Y'all get getting, yeah! Hey, uh, uh, ugly girl. Have you seen Dean? Um, no. Wendy is the ugly one. I'm the pretty one. Y'all oh, pigs look the same from behind, darling. What happens now? Now, Dean, they physically love us. What? It's time to put the mustard on the hot dog and steam the bun. What the f***? Stop fighting me. Their only form of communication. Close oh, oh, your eyes or your fists. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome, my enlightened friend. I'm just glad that I could facilitate your first contact. I didn't say thank you! You don't need to. I can sense your gratefulness and I am humbled by it. Shut up and drive, douche. Could you please hand me my ass cushion? But I can't believe that fat douchebag waits for us every single week! And I can't believe I won't see him for another week. <laughs> I love him. Hey, Mr. Larity, uh, what are you doing back here? I might ask the same of you, boys. No, not <coughs> nothing. All right, boys, I know you two can keep a secret, because if you don't, I have you skinned and mounted on my wall. Come with me. Almost every single E.T. game got returned. Over 3.99 million of them. And this is where they'll stay. Until the end of time. But what about Steven Spielberg? Yeah. <laughs> what about him? Right, George? I don't believe you boys have met my good friend, George Lucas. Hey, guys. Holy crap, Ola. George Lucas. George here made a little deal with me. For $30 million, I told him I'd help stop E.T. You said 20. I said 30, you son of a bitch. You said 20. Russell! <laughs> But why? Just a friendly little prank. Wait, so what you're saying is that I did a great thing when I skipped the movie and went to the strip club, therefore helping you to rob Spielberg of millions of dollars and the goodwill of his fans. Like I said, a friendly little prank. I'm not judging. I'm just here to hang out. Well, we've got work to do, so... Take me with you, please! He's insane! Get him, guards! He's gotta make that music video for me! Lucas, you direct! Let's take a ride in the spaceship past the moon and the stars All over the universe, stop by the Dagobahs A 
On my interstellar E we can bounce with glee From star to star don't matter how far we are E.T. The lizard creature and you Neil Diamond's little E.T. I love you E.T. E.T. I love you E.T. I love you too.